a vehicle that is loaded with technologies. Today I would like to proudly present to you the all new 2015 Hyundai Equus. One may overlook the Equus due to its brand, but rest assured the Hyundai Equus has so much to offer that you may just want to take a closer look. The model we have here today is the Equus Ultimate Edition that comes loaded with every feature you could think of. Some examples are the head up display, the multi view camera system that includes two side view cameras, a front view camera, and a rear view camera. There's also a rear seat entertainment system with two 9.2 inch monitors and the power rear sun window sunshade. Keep in mind the majority of features just mentioned are seen only in the Equus Ultimate model and not the signature model. The Equus is a rear wheel drive vehicle with a V8 engine that pushes out 429 horsepower and it can accelerate from 0 to 60 mile per hour in just under 5.4 seconds. When it comes to the interior, the Equus has a 126 cubic feet of total interior volume which is much more space than many other vehicles. As for safety, in addition to the surround camera system, there's also the parking assist system, blind spot monitoring system, and a total of 9 surrounding airbags. And lastly, its body is made of advanced steel that is rigid and lightweight and will enhance safety when it comes to accidental collisions. Before we start, I'd like to give a big shout out to Kevin Shaw for correctly answering the question I posted on our Facebook page. On remote, we have the lock, unlock, trunk release, and the panic button. You can also press the little button on the corner to release the manual key. Very nice. Now let's go ahead and unlock the car and take a closer look at the interior. The Equus color we're looking at right now is called Caspian Black. And it does come pre-equipped with the Smart Keyless Access Entry. So all you really have to do is leave the keys in your pocket or purse. To unlock, put your hand behind the handle. And to lock, simply press the black button on the outer side. Interior come in ivory leather. Looks very nice. Closer view of the back seat. To start the engine, all you have to do is push your foot down the brake and press the stop button located right on the dash here. Very nice digital odometer display. Now to open the hood fully, there's going to be a lever located down here. All you have to do is pull this out. This will initially open the hood. And to open the hood fully, there's going to be another metal lever located right under here. All you have to do is pull this lever up and raise the hood. Under the hood, the 2015 Hyundai Equus has a 5.0 liter V8 engine that pushes out 429 horsepower and 376 pound-foot of torque. It is a 8-speed automatic transmission. The 2015 Hyundai Equus can get from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just under 5.4 seconds. Keep in mind this is a rear wheel drive vehicle. As for fuel economy, the Equus get 15 miles per gallon in the city, 23 miles per gallon on the highway, and when combined it gets 18 miles per gallon. The gas mileage will vary depending on which driving mode you're in, normal, sport, or snow mode. When in the sports mode, you'll get much more power out of the engine but will see a slight decrease in gas mileage. And when you're in the normal mode, you see an increase in gas mileage with a slight decrease in power. Up front, there's the automatic rain sensing windshield wiper and the auto defogging windshield with humidity sensors. Moving down, we have the most noticeably chrome grille with the front camera located right in the middle. The bumper is equipped with parking sensors that automatically notifies the driver when the vehicle gets close to hitting any objects. For enhanced visibility, there's the Equus Standard Adaptive Front Lighting System with a pair of high-intensity discharge auto-leveling headlights. Headlamps also have integrated LED turn signal indicators. Toward the bottom are two LED fog lights surrounded in chrome lining. Overall, the Equus has a very nice front face. 
Moving over to the side, there's a side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal. Also have power adjustable feature, power folding, auto dimming, and heated function. And lastly, as part of the Equus Ultimate model, there's also a camera built onto each side of the side view mirror located right under here. As you can see, just the side view mirror itself is loaded with many features. Very nice. This specific model comes with 19 inch alloy wheels with 245 45 in front and 275 40 for the rear tire. Behind the wheels, we have the four wheel anti lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution and brake assist. All four wheels are equipped with the tire pressure monitoring system. To the back, there's the middle brake light located behind the rear windshield. Moving down, we have the Hyundai badge in the middle, and on both sides are the attractive tail lamps with LED brake light and LED turn signal light. The rear is also equipped with a rear view camera that automatically turns on when the car is put into reverse. Parking sensors are also built into the rear bumper. At the bottom, there's a two chrome exhaust tip that is fused together with the bumper. And lastly, to specifically distinguish this from other models, there's the Equus badge located on the left hand side. As for the gas tank, you must unlock it from the interior. The Equus can hold up to 20.3 gallon of gas and it is recommended to use premium and leaded gas only. Now let's take a closer look in the trunk. There's the rear view camera. Trunk look very spacious. Let's see what's inside. Use a manual there. There's also two hooks on each side, two over here and two on the other left side. More hooks on top for you to hang anything you need to. And if we lift this up, all your tools rest right under here. And on the left side, there's this little pull out switch right here. If the power gas tank fails to open, you can simply pull this out to open the gas tank manually. And if you ever get yourself locked in the trunk, simply pull this switch over to release yourself. There's two buttons right here. The lock is used to lock the core door, and the button to the left side is used to lock the trunk. And we're back on the inside. Steering wheel is half leather and half wood trim. Looks and feels very nice. Starting with the left side, we have the different audio modes control, volume up, down, and channel changes button. Hand free Bluetooth access, mute button. To the back here on top, we have the voice command button. And at the bottom, we have the lane assist button. Horn control right in the middle. Here we have the different control in which you can use to control everything that's going to be displayed on the odometer here. Very nice. And lastly, at the bottom here, we have the cruise control. Windshield wiper control, push down to increase. Intensity control switch in the middle. And simply pull this towards us to release the windshield washer. Over here, we have the right and left turn signal. Up for right, down for left. You can also twist the knob on the end to control the headlamps. You can leave it on auto or on or off. Fog light control in the middle and simply pull this towards us to turn on the high beam. And here we have two small knobs. This one is used to control the steering wheel placement. You can move the steering wheel up, down, away from you or towards you. And this button is used to activate the heated steering wheel function. Press it once to turn it on and press it again to turn it off. Driver air vent. Over here we have the blind spot monitoring assist, parking assist, the head up display control, and traction control. Odometer and light dimmer here. And let me show you the head up display. There it is. Head up display display key feature such as navigation and speed. Press it once to turn it on and press it again to turn it off. And further down, we have the parking brake. Simply lift it out to activate. And when it's on, you also see an icon on the odometer here. And push it back down to deactivate. Trunk release button. 
driver sun visor with a small credit card holder, mirror with light on top, Here we have the audio and GPS display with two additional air vent. In the middle we have the hazard light control. Moving down we have a dual AC heat climate control with an interlock clock right in the middle. Looks very nice. Audio player, that's where you insert your CD. To control the volume simply twist this knob to the right or left and press down to turn it on or off. And the channel adjustment over here. cup holder. We also have a removable ashtray here. Let me try to get this out. Here it is. And inside here we have a USB input along with a auxiliary input and a small spot for us to put your phone or mp3 players. And to control the gear shift box, simply push your foot down the brake, press a button on the back here, move it down to R to put the car into reverse. When you do so, the rear view camera automatically display along with the two side view camera and the front view camera. Big rear view on the left, and on the right side we have the left, right, front view, and rear view. And on the bottom we have the different selection in which we can pick to display which view we want. You use this knob to control it. Here's a complete rear view. Rear view with the left side view mirror. And lastly, a complete 360 degree view of your surrounding. Very nice. Now push it down all the way to D to put the car into drive. Over to the left to put it into standard manual mode. After that, you can push down and up to change gears. On top, starting with the left side, we have the different driving mode control. Again, you can put the car into sport mode, snow, or manual mode, and the driving mode will display on the odometer. When in the sports mode, you get more power with a slight decrease in gas mileage, and when in the normal mode, you get more gas mileage with a slight decrease in power. And here on both the right and the left, we have the different display selection, from home menu to phone display, or to navigation map display. And you can use this knob to control everything that's going to be displayed on the GPS screen. You can twist it over to the right or left to zoom in and out on the map. And it is multi-directional. You can move it over to the right, left, up, down, or press down to select. Moving down, we have the ventilated seat control, both driver and passenger. Camera view display button. And this is the rear sunshade control. Press it once to turn it on and press it again to lower it. Very nice. And in the middle we have the suspension control. Depending on road condition you can raise the suspension up or lower it. Now let's take a closer look inside the armrest compartment. There's two buttons down here used to open it. Very spacious inside. There's also two 12 volt core charger. Glove box compartment. Inside there's also a trunk lock button. When the lock button is on, you will not be able to open the trunk from the inside. Wood trim looks very nice on the dash here. And here's a complete view of the dash. Rear view mirror have auto dimming function. Also have built in universal garage door opener. You can simply input your garage door codes in and use those buttons to open and close your garage doors. It also display which direction we're heading to. Spot for you to put your glasses. light control and in the middle is a sunroof control sunroof have tilt function or you can open it fully
Now for a closer look at what we have on the driver's side door. More wood trim here. 12 way power adjustable front seat with lumbar support. There's also up to two storage for easy readjustment of the driver's seat. Very nice. Moving down, we have four power window control. In the two rear power window, we can also use these to control the sunshade cover. Press it down once to lower the sunshade cover. And after this lower, you can press it down again to lower the window. Very nice feature. Moving on up, we have the door lock and unlock button along with the side view mirror control. And all the way on top is another button to be used to control the folding and unfolding of the side view mirror. Side door compartment. And the gas release button. Equus door seal, which can be found on both the driver and passenger side. Brake and gas pedal. And the trunk release lever. Here's the fuse box. And here's a closer look at the trunk release button along with the parking brake. Pull out to activate the parking brake and push back down to deactivate. And this is used to control the bolting of the driver's seat. You can bolt it out and also move it up and down. Closer look at the driver's seat. It is ventilated, which can have both cooling and heating function. Seat belt's very smooth and quiet. You can also adjust it by moving it up or down. And here's a quick look at the back passenger seat. Looks very roomy. Two power window control. Again, you can also use these knobs to control the sunshade cover. Just like the front, press it down once to lower the sunshade cover and press it down again to lower the window. Another ashtray for the back. Side door compartment. Equus door seal again. Again, I'm five foot seven, so this gives you a better idea of how much leg space you'll have. I feel very comfortable back here. Plenty of room for leg space. Quick move the front from sitting in the back. Two additional air vent. Back seat compartment. And if you need more leg space, you can also adjust the front seat without the permission of the front people. You can tilt the back or slide it forward or backward. There's the 12.2 inch display. One on the right and another on the left. And it is not touchscreen. But still very nice. Let's see what else we have here. And this is where everything happens right here. Back passenger have full control of everything that's on the GPS and audio display. Complete control over the audio system and the navigation system. And both back passenger seats have 10-way power adjustable and are both ventilated with cool and heating feature. More storage compartment in here. With two more 12-volt car charger. Very convenient. Now let's go ahead and show you a quick demonstration of how this worked back here. 
you can use this knob just like you're in the front twist to change channel and if you're in the navigation view you can simply twist to zoom in and out very nice And here's a closer look at the back seat. It is ventilated again. Back seat belts also very smooth and quiet. Handball on top. With a piece of mirror on each side with light on top which turn on and off according to the open and closure of the mirror. More light control on top here. And you can also move this little bulb around. Comes in handy when you need to read a book. Here's another view of the front. And lastly, I forgot to show you the power adjustment for the back seat. You can control it right here. You can move it backward, forward. You can also tilt the back. And control the headrest by moving it up or down or you can simply leave it on auto all right guys that's all for the day thanks everyone for watching and as always make sure to leave me comments and feedback as to what you think about this car below for more future car reviews go ahead and subscribe to this channel and remember to give our videos a thumbs up also make sure to check out our official website and facebook page for our everyday activity again thanks everyone for watching and i'll see everyone in the next video review still here go ahead and click on one of the car on screen and continue watching